we can take a, just take a moment's pause, right? And take a look at people who still represent something that's inherent to, to human beings. We're all living creatures for that matter. And we can take, just take a moment's pause just to think about the value of our heritages, the value of our cultures, the value of, of our ability and capacity to live in community and with one another and, and I'll use the word regulated by, by our natural environment. Um, I think that has a lot of, a lot of value, a lot of potential. This project is proposing that more traditional cultures, particularly those of indigenous peoples, whose communities represent a nature intrinsic to us all, can potentially serve as a contemporary social scientific measurement of how all of humankind has been affected at our core by modern development related phenomena. This conversation can be initiated by remembering where all of us really come from, and it isn't the city. We can begin by listening to indigenous voices from an age range and from different ethnicities and about how their communities have been impacted by modern economic development. Here are some of these voices. I was very happy after moving from Burma to this village 37 years ago. We were one of three households living here at the time. It was very quiet. Life was good. I worked in the tea plantation. I lived simply growing rice and collecting food from the forest. I didn't have to buy anything, just salt. Now I have to buy nearly everything, including vegetables. Villagers, for the most part, just don't live the loud way of life anymore. It's just not the same. Everything feels different, except during the New Year's celebration. Many things are changing. People are becoming more selfish, thinking if they do things with others that there will be less for themselves in the end. The cultural harmony isn't as it was. What will come of this village? and the Lahu people. I don't know. I am not a god.